job, my brother. We rocking with you. I worked two jobs. I made you dinner. You'd come home with an attitude and were screaming at everybody about the house. You wouldn't even know kids live in our house because you come home and want to have a, a, a fit about whether there's a dish in the sink or there's a toy on the floor. I picked the kids up. I took them to school. I came home. I did the homework. I made dinner. I did the laundry and I had your dinner in the microwave when you got home, didn't I? Damn. Yeah, he was doing it all there. She's just got to help her husband out so the effort amounts to about 50-50 each. Now, Kyrie Irving definitely earned some respect for this next one. If you had a hall pass with any celebrity, who would it be? A hall pass? What you mean? That means you can just mess with any celebrity you want to. Oh, no, I love my wife, Marlene Wilkinson. Yo, shout out my wife and my kids. <laughs> shout out his wife, man. <laughs> yeah, boy. Uh, 27 and um, I can't take you home to my parents. I what would the parents say? What? What's, no. I'm a good classy Poor man. Family. The they whole family. Clown. A clown? Uh, I'm sorry. I, What's I don't. Do I look they like Ronald? Do I look like Not Ronald? You were oh, clown. oh, they, they would clown. clown. I was, I was going to respect sorry. whatever you say. Okay. No. Why, why would they clown me? You're not my type. Oh, okay. No. Okay. Okay. I think it, it, they think I'd probably be joking taking you there. Um, yikes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, she's someone that's your type. Low, yeah, low key. Low key. But, but still key, but low key. Oh. Like on the piano, we going from maybe Why like a G to key? a A. Um, I mean, not really. Maybe the. Me and her maybe have similar hair kind of situations oh, going no. on, so I kind of not a wig. Oh no, no, I'm just no, well. This isn't really either, but I like I like Move the. Yours. You're still I still key. I'm still feeling you. Oh. I'm still feeling, but you know, B B for baby. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Let's yeah. go over yeah. here. <laughs> Bro is a master troll. Plus, it is fun to not take ourselves so seriously from time to time. Next, we have the delusion calculator working its magic once again. If you're dating and somewhat frustrated not having a great time, I found this new tool to tell you if your standards are too high. We're looking for someone between 30 and 40. Not married, not a home wrecker. Minimum height, six foot. Let's say he makes six figures. 0.20%. Four to five delusion score. You've got to be kidding me. Cat enthusiasts, I don't even like cat. Hi. I don't know. Things aren't going that great. Struggling. I just keep thinking about what it used to be like when things were good. And maybe all of this was my fault. It maybe was. I'm a selfish. Maybe it's me. Yeah. Maybe I'm the one. All that fake, all that happy. Oh, I'm doing so great. I think I was in shock. And now... It's coming like into reality and I don't know. I know this is just a separation and there are a lot of worse things in the world than this. I can't seem to remember anything bad. I just remember all the good things. Big shout out to mediocre tutorials and reviews. And she did what she did, but you can at least respect her for opening up about it. Now you could say this next young guy was pretty wise for his age. Hey man, we might be the last ones getting married for real. So I went back home the other day and I was talking to one of my young boys. And keep in mind, he like 16. He like, yeah, bruh, I done gave up on it a long time ago. I'm like, gave up on what? He talking about relationships, trying to get married, all of that. He was like, when he gets there, when he finally gets his money and figures himself out and all that, she's only going to be around for that. That if he didn't even have all that, she wouldn't even look his way. I was like, damn, he ahead of the curve. At this point, go ahead and wrap it up. Because there is no way this got rejected for being 6'3". If you are 6'3 in America, you are in the 99th percentile of height in America. Which means only 1% of are taller than you and this still got rejected i don't like where this is going so 6-3 is the new 5-4 apparently. Also she's 4 foot 11 so he's about a foot and a half taller than her. Next we have another tough height requirement brought to light. Height requirement? Um, at least taller than me. I'm only 5-2 so it's not hard to beat that. So you would, you would date a dude that's 5-3? No, I've only dated dudes that were like 6 or taller. But 5-3 is taller than you. Yeah, but I probably wouldn't date a So what's the real that. height requirement? Maybe like 6 or taller. Um, at least taller than me. I'm only 5 so it's not hard to beat that. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. When parents tell their kids, we can't afford it, it's not in the budget, stuff like that. Even though, like, you're telling...
there. How old are you, buddy? 19. 19? Oh, wow, you're young, buddy. Is anybody here 18 or 19? Right here. Where? Oh, my God. You're 18 or 19? That's one. Look at this. Okay, you two go to dinner, yeah? Get to know each other, yeah? Oh. Then why the hell did you volunteer? I didn't volunteer. Yes, you did. I said, do we have anybody for him? And you were like, woo, woo, woo. <laughs> he wants to take you out on a date to get to know you. Not anymore. Oh, now he's, oh. Yeah, why would you want to take someone on a date who isn't into you, especially if you're paying for it? Now this next application of makeup will have you wondering what is real anymore. You're a problem. You're a real, real problem. I just found out that if you want to date somebody, you need to talk to them. <laughs> Why is it so hard? Well, duh. When is the last time a man came up to me and wanted to get to know me or exchange numbers? And it's been a long time. And honestly, I'm not going to lie. It definitely has me questioning myself. Like, am I not as attractive as I thought I am? Am I looking old? Am I intimidating? Like, what is it? So now I'm starting to realize that since men don't come up to me, I have to be the one to go up to them. And that makes me super nervous because it's like, how do I know I'm not going to get rejected if you didn't come up to me in the first place and then I make the decision to go up to you? How do I know I won't face rejection? Well, getting rejected is one thing, but for a number of us, it's so much of a bigger risk than that. Yet at least she seems to be starting to understand the other perspective. Now this next guy was bringing up some double standards for relationships. Is it Is it worth hurting someone you love over something as meaningless as Instagram pictures? Is it worth hurting someone you love over something as meaningless as Instagram likes? If that's a boundary that your girlfriend is setting, then why not just respect it? If that's a boundary your boyfriend is setting, then why not just respect it? Let them know we are not too needy or sensitive or insecure for having standards. Let them know we are not too needy or sensitive or insecure for having standards. I saw this and I had to speak on it. It says, when you want her, and they got a picture of Vivica Fox at her absolute best. Top of the line, nine, eight or nine right here, right? And then over here to the right, when she wants you. <laughs> Now, it's about 30 years between these two pictures, okay? And I'm going to be honest with you. This is correct. This happens all the time. And I don't know whether Vivica's mindset has gotten better or worse based upon her interviews. I would say worse. Vivica's in trouble because I don't know many men out there who has the resources that she wants that's banging down her door to date her when she had the opportunity on this left-hand side because she was with multiple millionaires. Don't wait too late. She was famously with 50 Cent, but that didn't work out too well. Plus, we got to admit that father time is undefeated. Now for this next one, she's showing how backwards they can be. They think they want a man who's not going to tell her what to do, doesn't expect her to cook and clean, loves her way more than she loves him, lets her do whatever she wants. They don't realize that the moment the man says yes to all of these things, she actually loses love and respect for him. And even if she doesn't cheat on him, she will get incredibly frustrated with him. Did you see how oh I looked God, at him? Oh my God, you I so looked at him. That was too hard. I looked at him hard. Please, no, 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 no! I just showed up for my 20 hour shift at the ball crushing factory. Let me show you what my wife put in my lunchbox. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. She got trampled with the animal crackers because I'm a child. She got a Kool Aid Jimmy Jam. We got the good Greek yogurt. Tomatoes. 
The tomatoes are seasoned. You want ranch? Or did you want Chick fil A sauce? Have me. You. You need to eat literally anything? Here's a spork. Send this to your wife so I can tell her. This man is at. Peace. Bro appears to have won the lottery with his wife. I really hope you enjoy these ones today and don't forget to like, subscribe and check out the video right above me.